Hello friends, today we will learn about adverse effects and contraindications of corticosteroids. So we can easily remember this by one mnemonic that is Cushingoidism. So from C, Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is characterized by narrowing of mouth, rounded face, supraclavicular hump, truncal obesity and thin limbs. There is another side effect from C that is cataract. The glucocorticoids cause posterior subcapsular type of cataract. Now from you we can remember ulcer. So there is a one contraindication that is peptic ulcer. The glucocorticoids can cause silent perforation that is very dangerous. Then from S, stria. Glucocorticoids cause typical purple color stria on lower abdomen and thigh. You can see the purple color stria because of long term use of glucocorticoids on lower abdomen. Then from H, there is hyperglycemia because they increase blood glucose level so that they are contraindicated in diabetes mellitus. Then from I, remember increase in blood pressure. So there is another contraindication of these steroids that is hypertension. And for necrosis, glucocorticoids may cause avascular necrosis of bones and joints. The most common affected bone is head of femur. G for growth retardation, mainly in children. The intrauterine growth retardation of fetus may also occur. Hence better to avoid glucocorticoids in early pregnancy. However, dexa or betamethasone can be used during late pregnancy for fetal lung maturation. Two adverse effects from o osteoporosis as well as edema. So glucocorticoids are contraindicated in congestive heart failure and kidney failure. Next from I, infections. Because of immunosuppression, there are chances of developing opportunistic infections. One of the common organisms is fungi candida. Oral candidiasis is the common complication of inhaled corticosteroids, which can be prevented by advising patient to do gargles after each dose of inhaled steroid. D for delayed wound healing and decrease in scissor threshold. So there is one contraindication, epilepsy. From eye insomnia and mental disturbances like features, so they are contraindicated in patients with psychosis. From another is suppression of hypothalamo pituitary adrenal axis. So if steroids are given for more than two weeks, they should be gradually withdrawn. Alternate day therapy also reduces the chances of suppression of HPX. Lastly, from M, muscle weakness due to catabolic effect of glucocorticoids. So if steroids are continued for more than two weeks, then patients should be advised high protein diet. Thanks for watching and wish you all the best.